All righty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Uh, it's just gonna tease you a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna tease you or not, but we have put the box side on the truck, and we've got the cab corner done. Uh, what, what's going on here? I had some, excuse me, Fina. I, I ordered some 14 gauge steel. This is 14 gauge. I had a bent on the top into a 45 on the top and I got a 90 bent on the bottom, a three quarter inch 90 on the bottom. And basically what has happened is I got joined to help me to stick it on there to see what it's going like or what it's going to look like. But you can basically see what it's going to look like for a truck. Um, the, the box is six foot six feet long. Um, Jolene said, is the frame going to show all the time? No, it's not going to show. We're going to make a, a piece in here that comes down that goes down to the bottom of the rocker, same thing, make a piece goes in there, then the running board will go along the bottom of that, and then it'll be the fender. With the car fender, there's gonna be some mod modification on the car fender, because the car fender, I was showing Jolene, the car fender went inside the wheel well of, of the car. Um, it's going on this side of the truck, so there's gonna have to be a, um, there's going to have to be some fabrication to make the fenders fit the side of the box. Uh, basically, that's what's going on. We're going to make some stake posts. Uh, we'll have one on that end, one on that end. So there'll be four stake posts we're going to have to make. We're going to have a piece of round up here. I can show you sort of what's going on. I don't want to go too far, but we got a piece of inch and a half exhaust pipe. Um, be a nice job for Jolene. Uh, that'll be the roll on the top and we're going to make the complete box from from scratch we're just going with what we want to do and um, we're going to do that very soon but i have one more hole to fill on the truck and that's the roof so basically what i'm going to do is is i'm going to take this box side off and i'm going to fill one more hole on the roof and then we can say the truck is completed you come over this side And this is basically what the box side looks like. It's just a, it's 14 gauge, it's fairly heavy, but it, it's something that I'm not gonna have to worry about down the side for straightness, or I'm gonna have to do body work to it or anything like that. We can weld to the exhaust pipe to the top of it, and it should be fine. So basically I, I'm really, um, it is what I chose. It's the 14 gauge and I chose it for a reason. And I chose it because, I'm, ah, put this damn thing I chose it because I think it's it'll be there'll be no body work to it it'll be nice and strong everything will work out great I've got the other cab corner put on if you want to come in this side if Jolene wants to show you she can show you how what the cab look cab corner looks like from the inside just went along with the zip cut cut it right down through the center and then about welded on basically just the exact same way as I shrink. I just run the zip cut through, exact same thing what I'm doing here, run the zip cut through, and then butt weld it together. We're not finished welding this one on yet. And the reason, what I'm thinking is, is I like to finish the hole on the top. Instead of concentrating on the cab corner like I did yesterday, I just concentrated on it, stayed there and welded it up and whatever. What I like to do is, is I come down here and weld a little bit of this. Then I jump up on the back and I'll weld a little bit around the roof. Then I'll come back down here and well, that and that way there I can let things cool off a bit and not have to concentrate about keeping things cool. I'm going to take the box side off. If you want to get another visual of it, just whatever. Um, this is what it's looking like. Thank you for all the great comments yesterday. Appreciate it. A lot of good people on the, on the YouTube and the Facebook. There are a lot of good people. Um, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We appreciate you come back and follow and watch and have fun with us. Basically, that's what we're doing. We're having fun. But we're able, we're how many days in? We're 12 days in from a four-door 35 Dodge or Plymouth to a truck. We got one more hole to fill in the top and we'll have ourselves a truck. And um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. And the reason I am happy is because I'm doing what I want to do, and that is make a truck. Uh, just set that on there for you so you can see what it's going to look like. We will build the box from 
scratch and show you every step as we go along. So if you want to build a box for your truck, um, you can do the exact same thing. It's fun to make things, in, far, you know, in my opinion, it's fun to make things. I need a piece of Bristol board. And the reason I need a piece of Bristol board is I'm going to get a pattern made for the roof. Look at that. You're my star, honey. I don't remember cutting that, but... Jolene's looking amazing today, as always. As always. We got one hole left to fill. And I'm going to need two pieces of Bristol board. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to obviously make a pattern. I'm wondering if this one will... Nope. I'm going to make a pattern of the roof, the shape of it, the length of it, everything. I could just measure it and go over and cut, but I'd rather, I'd rather make a pattern. Get off. I'm going to clean that mess up here someday soon. I'm going to get some tape, tape that together. It's nice and bright. I like that. Nice and bright. We had a little bit of snow on the, on the ground this morning. A little bit of snow was telling me that it's time not to do the worm or not to do the moonwalk, but it's time to get ready for winter. Just gonna double this up. Hey, Fina, the fantastic dog. How you doing? How you doing? Just so it stays together, good. Get it, got it good. Get it, got it good. marker in my pocket. I did the cab corner on this side exactly the same way as I did the other side. The other side turned out good, so I, I went with this side exact same way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a step ladder so I can get up there. I'm probably going to tape, tape it in place. That way there it doesn't move when I make the pattern. I haven't made a roof skin in, in a while, and I basically do it the same way every time. We'll go with, we got one straight edge there, we do. Just gonna take a piece of tape. Oh, didn't want to do that. Got another step lighter for this, the other side. Throw some metal in the. Yeah. It was nice. It's nice to see the the project or the truck, you know, looking like a truck. Very happy with the rockers and the way the quarters look on it. Uh, it's, it's exactly what I had in my brain. The rockers and the and the cab corners, not rockers. Rockers and cab corners, how they come out, is exactly the way my brain wanted it. I wanted them to sit down on top. The cab corners sit on top of the rockers. Now, I'm gonna put some tape in the front here. Get that thing. I've got the straight edge in the back. And what I mean by the straight edge in the back is I've got the Bristol board laying where I want it cut. So I got one of the lines already made. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to take my... What's going on there right yet? I'm going to go along here and grab my edge of my metal. Don't know what's going on up here yet. Trace that with a marker. 
so I know what's going on. I'm just making an impression with my thumb or my finger on the Bristol board. Going to the other side. We have two door skins that we have to do. I'm gonna save them till, I'm not gonna save them till probably last. glasses on. Should have that. I don't. I've got a little bit of a sag going on with the pattern. I'm hoping that when I cut it, the sag, like I'm gonna roll it, I'm gonna roll this piece of metal, I'm gonna cut a piece of metal and roll it. But I'm hoping that the sag, when I put this for, down for pattern, is gonna give my, make my pattern a little bit bigger when it comes up in the center, it'll come out a little bit. In that way there, I do not have to make the pattern a whole bunch bigger. I'm thinking that that will be my roll because it's going down in. The roll is going to be coming up, so I'm thinking that the pattern is basically right on the money. I hope I explain that sort of. I don't know, who knows. Sometimes I wonder sometimes when I talk if you understand or not. And it don't even matter if you do understand, I guess. And it's, up, it's up to you. saying I'm getting a pair of scissors I see a pair of scissors they're just hiding I'll go over here I want to get my glasses I where'd I put them bad boys Yeah, this is a lot of fun to transfer, transform something um, into something else. It's a lot of fun. We are going to the Houston Autorama. What's the date? 25th. We'll be at the Houston Autorama on the 25th of this month. If you would like to meet us, come on out and see us. And if you don't, come on out and buy something from us. <laughs> Support the habit. Alrighty, there's what I got. I'm thinking that's what's going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the metal over here. I think it's probably be my easiest bet. And then I'm going to take, you know it, I'm going to take the straight edge and lay it on the straight edge of the metal. That'll be one cut that I do not have to do and I'll end up cutting the rest.
That's what I always do. I always go for the straight edge. It just saves one cut. I was watching a, a show and it showed somebody making, um, making something and they put the pattern that they were cutting right in the middle of their material and they had to cut all the way around it. I was thinking, he doesn't watch Bad Chad much, does he? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He'd have saved himself one cut if he did. Or it maybe it's one of those things where he don't like it and he's not taking it. Houston, Autorama, November 25th and 27th. We will be there. Come on out and see us. Kindig and Danny Coker is also going to be there. Awesome. We're in good company. Save one cut right there. I'm gonna get a couple magnets. I had to dance for Jolene before we went to bed last night. You'll never guess. She wanted me to do the moonwalk. That's not true, I'm just joking. We have our I had a pair of them shears. I broke the ends off them shears and I'm gonna get myself a new set one of these days. A couple zip cuts here. We'll get the line on there. I'm dressed up with markers this morning. I got th two, three markers there, one there, one on the floor. Baby, I got markers. I'm going to just go up and check it out and see the pattern that I made. I'm hoping I went to that one. <laughs> I'm going to try this on first. I can't do it. There's a couple. There's a couple different lines there that I could have went by. Some noise coming.
very sharp after you cut something like that. I can't stress it enough. Very sharp. Alrighty. It should be the same. I'm going to put it on just to see what I'm saying by the same. I'm going to roll it. I want to know which way to roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Um, that's pretty good on that side. Let's go to the other side. Last hole for the for the old truck. Last hole. That's good enough, isn't it? Just leave it like that. <laughs> Can you tell me? over there too far that way I want to take a look and if, if I am that just lets me know you stay right there sweetheart if you like I'm coming up with you I'll just run the zip cut down through it right you know what I'm saying right. does not matter which way I roll it but I'm gonna roll it this way now I do not know, remember, I think it wasn't, we'll, we'll just go with it, we'll just go with it, put a little roll in it, have to think about this for a second, as I'm rolling this, you know, you can use the, the wheel if you wanted to, but I, I really feel like as I'm rolling this, I am putting shape into this piece of metal, so I feel like it's okay that I do not use the wheel. And this just, just is, this is just a lot easier and a lot faster to take off and put a roof in something. I'm actually putting shape into this piece of metal. You can see the shape. When I push down on it, watch what happens. It comes back up. It's got memory. So when I put, when I'm pushing down on it, and putting this on the roof, I'm thinking that the tension is pushing it back up in the air. That's what I'm thinking. I could be highly mistaken. I'm pretty sure that you can see as I push it down, it wants to come back up again, and it gives me a nice shape. I'm gonna get the welder going and we're going to start this bad boy in the center. You wouldn't want to start at one end and then go the other way. You'd want to start at the center because when you get to the end, you might have a, you might have a blister. And what I mean by a blister is something that I give myself this morning with a hammer. Um, it's a place where it puckers up and it hurts. But basically, you could run it one way and you could have a spot that sticks up and it does not do well. Um, Basically, when you start from the center, you get less of a chance of getting that blister in your... Hmm, something I could stand on, put it across that chassis and stand on it. Ah. Sweaty 
get it right, right distance either side. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that looks good. Gotta get that welder up here. You can see I push down that, come right back up again. And I, I will put cross members in, in a roof. I will put like, like square stock. I put square stock in for the back of the roof. I will do that, but I, I enjoy doing that after I put this in, if I need it. I enjoy putting that in after because I can put a bend in on it. I can weld it to that side and then I can pry it up to the other side and I can have that bend to make sure that pushes that up in there, pushes the center up or what I want to be done. Um, if I do it before, then I have to make my piece of metal fit that. Um, and I also can place it where I want it after. You are going underneath that and I do not want that. Hmm. That's what I want. Nope, don't want to go forward a little bit. Gonna make sure it's on that. Go forward a little bit. Sometimes this can be a hard thing to do. And I'm, I'm making it hard right at the present second. I want to get it on that square stock. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Just want to get past that. Good. Let's hang her down the center. Gonna run her along to the other side. Everything's everything's okay. I'd, yeah, I'd like to be up there to push that down together. But let's see what happens. Let's go. Just tacking it in, in case anything's going wrong, which I don't think it is. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to zip cut that on that side. I don't have to, but this side's looking so lovey-dovey. Stop it. Some fill. Just pushing that down on the edge of this roof. I got it, bought it right up perfect. So I'm gonna push it down, get it in place. Beautiful. A little work to do there. On the front, I'm gonna leave it there. zip cut through that. I am, I am. I'm also going to bang the edge of that roof down the back. Let's walk around to the front and see what's going on. I'm going to start in the center, like I did on the other side. I'm going to grab my third arm.
Ah. Don't push down too hard. It's the roof. Just don't push down hard enough to get the metal down. making sure I'm gonna get down off this ladder. Get a hammer and knock that down around the corner. Awesome. have to hit metal very hard sometimes to get the point across what what you need done if you know what I'm trying to tell you you don't have to hit it that hard Wherever it's flush or wherever it's feeling good, I'll hit it with the welder, that's for sure. I'm going to come over this way a little bit. Might as well do it and come on here. Where this, where this metal's coming up over, it's hitting it on the edge of the square stock and it's letting this front shoot up a little bit. I just got to bend it down over it a little bit. And all that does is tighten this metal up here even more when I bend that edge down. That's all it does. Not hurting the damn thing. Actually helping. to the other side. Got this side nailed down. Feeling good. Well, actually I could hit him here, I guess. I could do it right here.
a little close. Awesome. And you can see how that's still lifted up that edge. It still wants to come up, you can tell, or I can tell. Got a nice piece going on there. It's going good. I'm just going to run to the other side, bring this stuff over there. And like I said, when, when I got that tacked in there in place where I want it, well, then I, then I make myself a, a little weld pattern of how I do it. So I'd start and I would go, I would start off with every six inches. Every six inches, I'd plunk a spot weld on. I go all the way around the roof. And then when it comes to the cab corner, I do the exact same thing. And I would do the exact same thing. Do the exact same thing here. I'm going to put this one down the corner because it wants to come down. It wants to come down. Got a little issue right here. I sort of run it. I want to. I got it butted on that side, so I'm going to run a zip cut. I'm, I don't really want to run the zip cut through this piece. I've got this piece pretty well nailed down where I want to do it. So I'm going to run the zip cut on the top piece, see if I can cut that metal back a little bit so I can butt it to the piece I already have. I generally take the zip cut and run it with the roof metal itself, but as I'm looking here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna gas, I'm gonna draw a straight line. And then I'm going to zip cut the metal I have for the roof and see if I can get it with. Right there. We'll do that. See if I don't mess it up, hope not.
don't know if that was a mistake. I could have shoved quite a big hole there. I did. Ooh, it's got a lot of pressure. So you can see how they had a lot of pressure going down. Now I'm going to hold it up and then weld it. That's what I'm going to do. I like this here. That's good. That one's good. Now I'm just going to hold the rest of it up so I can get it. Oh, wow. Hold it until it stays, because if not, it'll take off on me. Basically, I just gotta hold that up. Oh, guys, boys, oh boys, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Maybe I should push down. Oh, that's easier. Something wasn't happy. I'm gonna nail this one because it sounds good. It looks good. Something like that where you've got you're trying to butt weld something together. Sometimes you pretty well just gotta bump the welder. Get yourself started. I'm gonna just mark it right here. And then hit this part with a hammer. Just like that, just a little tiny touch. Is that Athena? Huh. It's funny noises. I did not butt weld it all the way along across the front. I just ran it over probably, probably a sixteenth probably, and maybe even an eighth in some places. But when I weld that across there, and I've, and I've laid that across that line. It's got a, it's had a nice rib going along there. I guess the reason I butted it there because of the, I got this piece. I didn't, I don't want to build it up too much. I got this piece running over top of this piece to lift it up a little bit. But when I, when I'm welding this front piece up, I'm going to start the weld on, on the, on the truck itself. I'm not going to do one right now, but I'm going to weld the, on the truck itself. And then I run it up to the piece of metal. And that way there, when I go to grind it off, I've got a little bit of weld on this side that I can feather it off nice, basically. It's just a little hint that I, you know, I ask for sometimes if we're building something, if Aiden's doing something, um, welding something up. Just have the, the thought in your brain, when it comes time to grind it off, um, what are you gonna be able to make it look like? And if I leave, if I put a little extra weld on this side of the sheet metal, then I get, when I get to grind it off, then I get to feather it off a little bit. If I weld it hard up and leave it a big edge there, a ledge there, then it's hard to feather the, the, the weld off to make it look good. Hope that makes sense. I need that. It's the little things.
I need to zip cut again. I got a couple little welds here that I want to do. Just want to lay that down in there a little bit better. Fit in nice. Beautiful. Hickory dickory. Good. Awesome. Now, I need that zip cut again. I ground that weld off with a little bit of weld underneath it. Got her that time. Got her's the last thing that goes on, but I got her. Alrighty, last hole on the old cab filled. And what I mean by filled is in place. I'm going to stand back and take a look at it. That is Fina over there doing, making the noises. She's sleeping. Sleeping. Looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Don't know as if I'll put a brace in the center of it. I don't know. If I get any, I don't know. I probably won't oil can it. I doubt it. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. But you can see inside, we got a nice little, nice little panel going on. It's, it's worked out really nice. I can't see nothing from the backside, so that's awesome. So basically how I'm going to do this, or how I'm going to finish it up, is I'll go... Tack, 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 all the way around it. And then I'll jump off it and tack, 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 all the way around the, the cab corner. Tack, 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 all around the roof, and back down the cab corner. Then that way there, it gives the heat a chance to dissipate. And uh, I do not oil can or warp anything up. Everything's good. And remind yourself, you know, I've got it stripped down to bare metal. Yes, I've got it ground down pretty good, but the whole thing still has to be filled out. I cannot take a little bit of fill and fill that. I cannot take a little bit of fill and fill that. A little bit of fill and fill that. You basically, basically, I would want to put a flood on the whole thing. And you know what a flood is, something that covers the whole thing. And then I would take it off to a nice, take it off until I hit the ocean floor. The ocean floor, um, what I mean by that is the cab of the truck. The cab of the truck is the ocean floor. Um, it has all kinds of barnacles on it. There's rocks there. There's, there's dirt. There's ups and downs. There's where places, where, whatever. But when I put a flood on it, I would stop when I hit the ocean floor. Because we all know, once you hit the ocean floor, then, you're, then your water does not look so smooth anymore. So basically you want to put a good, I would put a flood on the whole thing. And when I start hitting the ocean floor, that's when you stop. And you'll know where the highs and lows are because the body fill will not be sanded. It will not be sanded, basically. Um, when you start sanding it and, and holding your tool flat, um, you would know um, what's going on. Uh, you'll know where the metal is the highest because you'll, you'll come to that first. And you'll know where the lowest is because you, you're, when you hold your, your sander flat, you will not hit that part. So, we have a truck in 12 days. We have a truck from a four-door car in 12 days. Um, I'm going for, we're going to Houston um, on, for the 25th and, and the 27th. 
So we will not have a couple days to work on it. But what I'm really actually going for is I would like to build the whole truck, box and all, um, less than 30 days. That's what I'm hoping for. And um, that's what I'm going for. Not, um, doesn't mean if I have to or not, but basically that's what I want to do. I want to be able to do it in 30 days. And the reason being is, is for me. That makes me happy to say that I can say, I can take a four-door car and make it into a truck in less than 30 days. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm able to go in at nighttime and pat myself on the back because I don't need anybody to pat me on the back. I'm working for myself and I try to please myself and make myself happy. And that's all I do. And, and that's the way you should be on your project. Make yourself happy. Do not worry about what anybody else is doing. Make yourself happy. If you like what was going on here, like. And if you like, you should share. And if you share, make sure you tell your friends that we have a YouTube station that we customize cars. And we do what makes us happy. We cut things apart. We make things. We have fun. And once in a while, you'll pick up something you like. Some once in a while, you'll pick up something that you don't like. Ones you like, you keep. Ones you don't like, throw it away. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow.